What's up guys, Mike the Coder here. Today we're gonna go over the spodge question of can you answer these queries? So this is a problem that requires the understanding of segment trees or Finwick tree, whichever you wanna use. But basically you're given a sequence of uh, array of numbers and then now you're gonna get a query. So the query is basically uh, two indices, X and Y, and you wanna find the maximum sum from um, between the two indices, right? So the maximum sum, which is like a maximum of AI plus AI plus one up to AJ. And uh, that's basically the values between these two indices. So the maximum sum between these two indices when you add up the values between. So now you're given the M queries and your program has to output the results of these queries. Okay, so what you could do is you could try using prefix sum and suffix sum, but then you have to literally compute every single time and that's actually not a good way to do it. So the best way is actually to use a segment tree. So, um, yeah, okay. So basically, I kind of just black box this, but how you, how you, how you want to do this is that, um, so you have the values of, of the left side and the right side. So you have a, let's say I have the very negative one, two and three, right? So I, if I go from left to right and I sum up the values from prefix sum, I would have, um, let's see, I have negative one plus negative one plus two would be one. One plus three is uh, four, right? This is from left to right. And then if I sum up from right to left, right? So, so this is left to right. So this is going to be my prefix sum. Now, if there, if I sum up from right to left, it would be three plus two is five, right? Three plus two is five. And then five plus negative one is four. Right. So then um, basically what we have to do is we have to like find the values between like the prefix sum and the suffix sum such that uh, the value would be the largest. So in this case, it would be probably five because we have to add two and three. Right. So that's the five, which is the largest out of all these. So in order to do this, basically you have to have a segment tree that has three instance variables, actually four, four, four instance variables. Okay. One is going to store the, the sum of your current like segment. The other one's going to store like the left sum, which is like coming from the left side. And the other one's going to store the right sum that's coming from the right side to sum the values. And then you're going to get uh, the actual final instance variable is going to be max sum, which is going to give us the, it's just going to do like the comparison between left and right and find the maximum actual sum. Okay. So that's what we're going to have. Okay. Um, I think I'm just going to show you guys the code and try to explain it because, uh, it's kind of a little confusing how we're going to do this, but, um, yeah, I kind of black boxed it. So I don't, I don't, not a hundred percent like confident about segment trees, but I could explain it to you pretty decently. Okay. All right. So let's start with the main method because main is really easy. Okay. So I have an array of a, and here I just read in a uh, number values N. And I'm going to read in the array of, of A, right? So this is going to loop through the values of N and just going to read in the array of A. Okay. Then I'm going to call a method called build and it's going to build my segment tree. And in the segment tree, I'm going to basically store these values, right? The left sum, uh, right sum, and the maximum sum between both of these values. Because like uh, you need the sum between both of the segments from left side and the right side. And you need to find the maximum sum for that. So the method is going to be build. Okay, and then I'm passing in zero and n minus one because that's gonna be the starting point. So you're gonna start from zero here. This is the index zero and then the ending point is gonna be n minus one, right? Cause that's the zero, one, two, right? Those are the indices zero, one, two, and then n minus one is the last uh, index, right? Given the number of values. All right, so that's gonna build up the segment tree and the build, once I have the segment tree, that's going to store all these values of the prefix sum and suffix sum for each of them. And then, um, then every time we read in M and then we're going to read in X and Y, that's going to read in the queries, the index indices that we do. All right. So then what I do is I subtract X minus one and Y minus one, because uh, I want to, uh, because the problem is indexing by one and I want to index it from zero. So that's why I subtract both of the indices by one. And I'm going to call query and query. I'm going to pass in the, um, starting value and then the starting value from the start to the end and minus zero to n minus one. And I'm passing the two, uh, 
indices that I want to find the maximum of and it's just going to call that. Okay, so now let's actually get down to the build method because building the segment tree is the hard part. And then when you just query it, you could just uh, query it. That's the easier part. So let's actually go to the build method. Okay, so actually before we before we get down to the build method, uh, let's go back to the top part. So first of all, here um, I have a structure which uh, you could use a class in Java and C++ structures are basically just like classes uh, except like all the values are private I think if I recall but anyway I have a structure and it's going to have store the sum of sum max sum the sum from the left and then the sum from the right and that's basically what I said early on the sum left right and the max sum okay that's what this structure so has okay so now I'm going to have the segment tree and that's just going to be um uh, I just do n shift left by four because uh, I think you need to have at least like four. Every four leaf, you need to have like four four nodes. So that's what you need to have. And uh, here a I do n shift left by four. So this big n is um, big n is the number of values we have. So that's the maximum number of values we have. That's the constraints from the input statement. And they said fifty thousand is the maximum possible number of elements you could have. So that's why I do that here. And uh, yeah, this part is just uh, to take care of leaves. Okay. All right. Get middle is just going to return like the difference between the middle between the values of A and B. So it's going to get the center value. And we use get middle in order to like get the. It's useful if you want to get the middle value in your array, uh, given the two values A and B. So that's we're going to use that sooner or later. Okay. All right. Empty node is just going to set all the left sum right sum uh, total sum and the max sum to be zero so that's what the empty node is it's just a node that has all the values to be zero and it returns it okay now let's go back to the build method so what do we do in the build method all right so if if my sum from that i'm summing from and two right where i'm summing from and where i'm going to if they're the same then what I'm going to do is I'm going to basically um, set the sum at the current index I'm looking for. It's going to equal to the maximum sum at the current index, and it's going to equal the left sum, and it's going to be right sum, and it's going to equal to where I'm summing from, right? Because if what you're summing from and two is the, like the same, uh, it's just going to be the same value. So if, what I mean by that, if like let's say I'm summing from uh, let's say I'm summing from zero to zero. So zero, and I'm going to sum up instead of anything, it'll be just be to zero, right? So that's just the, the same value of it, this. So that's just going to return negative one. So in that case, we're going to set all the values to just be the, the whatever value at from, at the array at from. So that's just going to, we're going to set all the values to that and we just return. Okay. So now this part is going to get a little tricky and uh, it might be a little difficult to understand, but bear with me. Okay, so what we're going to do is we're going to take the, otherwise we're going to take the middle value. So basically I'm going to split this up for the array where I'm summing from. So let's say I'm summing from index 0, 1, 2, 3, right? 0, 1, 2, 3, right? I'm going to get the middle value. Uh, so let's say I call the function uh, starting index 0 and I'm going up to index one to 2, right? I pass in the whole array and I'm going to build my segment tree. What I'm going to do is I'm going to take recursively call and I'm going to take the middle value too. And I'm going to basically do the exact same thing of getting sum left, right, and max sum from the left side. And I'm going to do the same thing on the right side. So that, that's going to give me like recursively calling this over and over again. That's just going to give me the ability to um, nonstop getting the build my segment tree and recursively calling left and right. So then I have my childs for my nodes. So that's what this is for. So we get the middle value of where from middle and two, and we're just gonna build from the left side from the middle, from from the beginning, from from to then to middle, and then from mid to plus one to two. So that what that is is that's gonna build my segment tree, recursively calling divide by two and getting from this side, build a segment tree from here, and then build a segment tree from here, and it's gonna keep doing that over and over again. All right, that's what this part is. Because it has build middle and build two. Okay, so that's gonna recursively call this over and over again. All right, then we're gonna do something called fill value. And fill value, we're gonna pass in our index. So this is the part where we actually have to fill our values. Okay, so to do that, I'm gonna show you guys what the fill value does. Okay, so the fill value is gonna get our the get the left index 
uh, and the right index. So these are the left children, the left and the right. And that's two times index plus one, and that's uh, two times index plus two. This is just like a math formula that you use to get your left child and right child. Um, that's just how the segment trees work. Uh, I think a lot of binary search trees do it this way. But anyway, so this is gonna be the index from the left child and the right child, okay? So what are we gonna do? So uh, if we're gonna fill the value of the sum at our current index, to equal to the, the segment tree on the left side sum plus the sum on the right side. So what this is gonna do, like if, if we're building a segment tree, um, it's basically just gonna recursively like sum up from the left side and the right side, right? And that'll be our new sum. And then it does that to the parent and to the child. So like if we have like multiple nodes like this, I don't know, uh, this is a binary search tree, but like imagine these are our segments. It's gonna su sum up from left side to right side. That's what, and then that's what the parent node is gonna be. The parent sum is gonna be summing from left and right. And then this part is gonna be the parent sum of the left and right. So that's what it's doing, okay? So that's what the sum is. Okay, now um, we also have to build up the summation from the left side and then summation from the right side. So like if, remember, we, uh, when we build up uh, some sum, we have to sum from left to right and we also have to sum from right to left because the problem is asking us could be in any way from left to right or right to left right uh they want to find the maximum sum between the values of indexes zero to two right and in our case it's going to be five and this is something from right to left so what we need to do is we need to build our summation from left to right and right to left so here what we have is um we have segment tree at index dot left this is going to equal to the maximum value from the sum from the left and and the maximum between this either this value or the sum, the, our total sum that we have, plus the maximum value of the sum from the uh, right left. So if I'm summing from, okay, this is kind of confusing to understand. Basically, the, what this is doing is that it's going to take, okay, imagine this is like a tree of a negative one, two, and three, right? And I'm basically summing from the left, negative one, one, four. So uh, this prefix sum is negative one, one, four. Right. What this is doing for the left is it's going to get the maximum value summing from the left side all the way to the right. So what that means is that it's probably going to get four in the end. Right. It's going to sum negative one plus two plus three. So what, what that what's that doing is that it's going to go to the leaf on the right, right child. And then it's going to get that left sum summing from the left from that plus the sum of the current parent. And we're going to compare that to the sum on the left. Right, so the, the segment tree summing from the left child to the sum, and then sum plus the su uh, segment tree from the right, right child's left sum, and see whichever is greater, it's gonna be, replace that as the left child. So that what that means is that um, basically, if, if we could think about this as like a uh, negative one as on the left side, so like, let's say two, this was two, and this is negative one, and this is three, right? This is the, this is the, this is the, uh, this is the tree. So when we're summing from negative one, two, three, what this is gonna do is it's gonna take the sum from this side and this side, right? Uh, it's gonna take the, this right child's left sum. So like assuming like, uh, this would be like negative one plus two plus three, so this would be like four. And then this child on the left side of negative one, and it's gonna compare this and this, and whichever is maximum, it will set that as the left sum, as the maximum of the left sum. So that's the reason why we need this uh, left, left, because we need to find the maximum of the left sum and the maximum of the right sum from the, something from the left side and the right side. So that's what we do here. So we have left is equal to max of left sum plus our current sum plus the sum left sum of the right. And we do the same thing on the right sum, right? So the right sum, we're gonna take the maximum of the sum on the right, uh, the max of the summing from the right side, and it's gonna be the right side of the total sum plus the left side's sum of the right. So what that means is that, imagine we have uh, the suffix of negative uh, one, two, three, right? What this is gonna do, it's gonna take the sum of, uh, so let's say it's two, negative one, three. So this time we're summing from the right side. It's gonna do, it's gonna compare like this three, three plus two would be like five, and five plus one is, a negative, uh, is gonna be four, right? So these are the summing from the right side. What it's gonna do, it's gonna, do the summations and it's gonna compare 
the summing from the right side of this and uh, five and compare both of the summing from the right side of three, five and four, it's gonna set the actual sum from the right side, the maximum sum of the right side is gonna be five. So that's what this is for, right? Uh, segment tree index dot right is gonna be segment tree right. And then segment tree right dot sum plus segment tree left dot sum right. Okay, this part is gonna be a little more tricky. So now once we have the sum from the left side and the right side, we need to set our maximum sum to be the maximum value of that. So what, what does that mean? So that's gonna, what we're gonna do is we're gonna take our maximum sum from our left side of our left child and the maximum sum on the right child and compare those two sums. So it's gonna compare like, um, it's gonna compare the maximum from left side, it's gonna be like four, compare this, summing from left side would be like four, this four and comparing this four with this five right, in order to get that. And that's what this part is for. But we also have to compare like summing from the right sides, le uh, left child from left and the right, the, the left child's of the right. And this is a little confusing because this is basically like, this part's kind of comparing like, um, how do I say it? It's like going between the suffixes. So like, uh, how, do, how do I explain this? So let me just clear the board again. Actually, I could just remove this. Uh, so so imagine like we go back to this, right? Uh, negative one, one, four, four, five, three. So what this is doing is that it's going to compare like the left, the left sum, the right child's left with the left child's right, right sum. So like if we had like, uh, let's say two, negative one, three, right? And a left child's sum, like the maximum sum of the left child is gonna be like, I don't know, uh, four, right? And this would be like five, because this is the summing from the right side and the left side. We have to compare these values also, four and five, to actually get the right values. And that's what we do here. So that's what this part is for also, because if you don't check for this part, of segment tree sum from the, the right side's left and the left side's right, um, you can get things wrong because uh, it might not be the case that the maximum value from the left the left side and the right side is uh, the, the actual maximum value, right? It could be between both of these parts. So that's what this is for, the maximum. So you have to find the maximum of left child sum and the right child's uh, right sum also. So yeah, that's what that, for, that is for. So once we fill the values, we have the fill values. Okay, so now once we build our tree up, for, can recursively building our tree up over and over again with this, filling the values over and over again, um, what we do need to do is do a query. So we're gonna query from zero, zero, negative one, uh, n minus one, which is the length of the array, and our starting value and x and y, which is our uh, which is our index indices, where we need to find the maximum sum of. So now we're gonna go from here. Okay. So our starting index is gonna be zero. Um, we're gonna go from, from, from zero, to, and then two is gonna be the length of the array, n minus one. And then the actual values of left and right, that's gonna be the indices of the range that we wanna find. So in our case, uh, if we wanna find the query between, the maximum sum between the query uh, between uh, x and y, right, x and y, which is like, let's say we wanna find maximum sum between here to here, right, from zero, one, two. So we would pass in one, two into this, and then it, uh, ideally this should return like uh, five because it's two plus three, five, yeah. But we would pass this in and it would try to calculate that. And then our starting index remember is zero, so that's what this is for. So uh, let's go back to the query. Um, so if we're out of range, um, it's just empty. And what that means is like, if you're like super out of range, like, um, let's say our array was like zero to three, right? And then we asked to find four. Well, there's no four here. So like you can't really do anything. It's just be gonna be empty, right? So if, the, if what you're trying to find the range is between one and two, let's say this is out of range. Uh, you can't really, you can't really sum anything, right? So that's what this first if statement is doing. If R is less than from and or L is greater than two, then we're just gonna return an empty node because you can't really do anything. Okay. Now, if from is greater than or equal to left side and two is less than or equal to right side. So that means like our, what this would mean is that it's saying that 
the um what we're querying is actually um if what we're querying is less than what we're trying to find then we're just going to return whatever our segment tree index is of so the reason why we do this is because like if we if we queried so let's say we uh, let's say our um so this is our value of our array right our length of our array is 0 1 2 and what if what we're querying is that this is actually smaller than where we're, we're actually trying to find so like let's say we had like uh, i don't know instead of the array let's say the array was like i don't know, just one element one and we're trying to query from one to two right one to two and two doesn't actually exist so in that case we're just going to return the, the current element at the current location right because like you can't really do anything here because like it's just itself so that's why that's what this is for it's just going to return segment tree at the index All right now this part is going to get a little difficult so now we're going to get the middle value between from and to and then we're going to recursively query from the right side of the uh, for the left child right so in index times two plus one and then we still leave from in middle and left and right so if the right side is like less than or equal to the middle and we're going to recursively query the left side right so if the uh, what we're querying on the right side is like less than or equal to the middle so like if uh let's say i was querying i don't know the right side is this right uh let's say i'm trying to query from here and it's less than the middle the middle is two right then what I'm going to do is I'm going to recursively call on the left side and get the sums from the values from the left side. So that's what this is doing. Okay. Um, if left side is greater than middle, so let's say I'm trying to query values from here. Uh, from here. Let's say this is my left side that I'm trying to query. And then this is my actual array, 0, 1, 2. Right. Then we're going to recursively call on the right side and try to query from the right side. So that's what this is for. So that's why we query on the uh, index times two plus one. And then we're going to move our shift our middle to the middle plus one and then two left and right. So that's what where this is doing. So it's basically just, just recursively calling on the left side and the right side until we get all our queries. And um, that's what we're doing. Uh, here I get the node from left child and the right child. And I'm just recursively calling from the left side and the right side again, regardless. So yeah, that's why I do the here. And then I combine both of the values from left and right. So for that, that's right here. Um, basically, to combine the two segments from the left and the right, um, for the basically we're going to create a new node and we're going to sum up the two sums from left and right. And then what we're going to do is we're going to get the maximum of the left sum, and that's just going to be the maximum of the values on the left side. And then the sum of our current sum plus the left sum's value on the right side. Uh, yeah, left sums on the right side, and then um, then we need to find the sum from the right side. So for that, we're gonna get the maximum value on the right side, and then we're gonna do um, plus the left sum of the value on the right uh, left sides, right? Okay, so that's what this right is for, and then then we need to do max, get the max sum, for, and for that we do the same thing. We need to get the maximum of the left and right maximum value for that, and then we add the b's left and then a's right. So that's what we do that here. Uh, this A and B are just like left, left child, left child and the right child. Okay. So yeah, then we return the combination, and that's just going to merge the two, um, the two segments together, and then you're gonna have your actual uh, query tree in the end. So then you would just see out the query. So that's basically that's basically how the whole code and how the gist of how to do this problem. You need to maintain the sum from the left side and the right side and then you need to make sure you store like the right maximum for that and then in the end we just return the maximum so yeah so while you're building up your tree recursively going from the left and the right um yeah i hope you guys enjoy this video Rate, comment subscribe it was kind of hard to make but yeah i'm really tired peace